Hello once again, audience. In the last episode, we got to Rito Village. We did the shrine. I need to get back up there. I tried to give them some business in the shop because I feel kind of very guilty. But these things happen. Um, what is in here? Oh, oh no, I have to rebuy it. I really like this armor. And I just spent my gems. Okay. 650, 500, 1000. Okay. I already have snowy trousers and, um, hmm. Okay. Never mind. I'll get the, I'll get the headpiece because I don't have anything for the head and that'll help with my cold resistance. Um, and I can afford it, you know, that is also an issue. Um, yeah, so, and I, I don't look too bad. What brings you to the shop today? Um, I'm here to sell. So you actually can sell armor. I don't want to, but that seems weird. Never mind. Yeah. If you say so. It also, I'm very surprised that the game was willing to give us that, those snowy trousers. Like that early on, just completely for free, not even making us solve anything. Like, Breath of the Wild did it, but you had to do all this stuff and craft, um, like the spicy seafood fry. People in caves, yep, I know about the caves. Yep, shiny ores. Pay a lot for the ores. Yay! I don't see any adults. That's like really worrying. The entire village is full with full of kids. Yeah, this is where the kids usually sleep. Oh, this is a place for cooking. I hear the little girl's music down there. Yeah, yeah. It's adorable. This really is just a really cute village. Um, okay. Yeah, and the Rito Village theme is so ghostly. At least the like the version they're playing. See, right here is usually is where the shrine was before, and now they're in a pickle because they can't just put the other shrine in the same identical place. But at the same time, now this doesn't really serve as much of a purpose, uh, which you know feels wrong. I don't know. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Don't jump off. Okay, what is this over here? Just an empty thingy. Hello, little child. It'll freeze him solid. What, like an urn? Hmm, how about this one? Huh, you need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid, which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Wahahaha. My problem is, I can't go out to pick any fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Ugh, it's not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. Okay, so I need some ice fruit for this little girl. Hmm, mister, I bet a cold breeze come from your pouch. Wait, oh, I do have some? Oh, white choo-choo jelly, you want that? For the monsters, so free stuff solid. Woohoo, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use it to make my big invention. Whoops, I already forgot manners. May I have one, please? Here you go. Oh, she's so cute. I love them. Yay, now I can finally make my invention. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, yes, I know, I already, you didn't invent anything. This is not new. I'm sorry, I, mean, I don't want to take it away from the child. Good invention. You should probably stop talking before I give up my way my best ideas. Anyway, here's the thank you present. Okay. You know the reason I keep making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I want to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world-famous arrow maker. One, my pop can be proud. This is so cute. Oh, and I complete the quest. Okay, this is so cute. Okay, Tiba. And his chi and his child. Okay. Hey, Tiba. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <laughs> It's been so long since I've seen anything. them. The village. He was in Age of Calamity, if you've ever huh? seen that. The, the little kid was. The other two were in. Is that you? No, my name's Link, not you. God, what do you think, I'm Asian? It is you! Oh. Link! To Lin! Yay! It's been a while. He's so cute. God. Oh, come on. Why can't all of this be voiced? I wish it was. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. 
he helped us with taking on Va Meadow in Breath of the Wild. Um, it's very nice to see you again. Huh. Saki's feet as well. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> oh. As, as long as you think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. Well, what do you... Well, you think I can't? I'm already full-fledged, you know? He is literally a fledgling. Oh, I did not mean to save a video. God damn it. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. What is the scouting trip? God. You all can keep wasting your time treating the song of Storm Wind Arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you... Unbelievable. Uh, it's pretty believable. Tulin wants me to let him go and find what's causing the blizzard. And he's having no he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song? It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different kind of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship, or so it claims that the song has been passed down through generations. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine this with the blizzard caused by the upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. I'm sure the ships are real, though. Like, yeah. Even if the- Oh my god! In the eye of the storm, there was that, like, weird creature, and there were the sky ships. Okay, sorry. I'm thinking- Yep. Yeah. I, I almost wish they hadn't had that in the trailer, though it is a really cool shot. Even if the song of the Stormwind arc is just a child children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that there's no Rito that can fly close enough to look in. This is why I say that we need to be care we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin thinks he can cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. The things that we cling God damn it. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? What? This is terrible news. So then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow. Hmm. We Rito ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone could spare. Everyone I could spare is already out researching for a blizzard or scavenging for food. <sighs> My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Oh, you replaced him! Did the old guy die? What happened to the owl man? I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Sad. That guy was kind of funny. Ah, but maybe. You're not- Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try talking to Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see those two bonfires out that way? Yeah, I do, yes. Hmm. He's in a lodge near there, if you'd like to try visiting him. Okay. I'm gonna finish my way up, and then I will explore what the thing they said. Oh, wait, you're the arrow maker. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, this way. Um, this is just a house. This is just another house. And then this is the roof, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so I guess going there is the only thing that's left for me to do. Or, or just, like, go to a different location, but I'm fine doing this. Wait, I'm blind. Where is it? It's over there. What was that down there? I just, dude, imagine how many caves there are in this game. I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial or something from people that have way too much time on their hands, probably. God damn. God damn. Oh, and the tower's there. That's really nice. Thank you, game devs. That is amazing. I was, I wanted to go to the tower as well, and the fact that they put it right next to the tower is very convenient, because then I can just kill two birds with one stone, which is exactly what I meant to say in this situation, considering they are Rito. God, thank God that Rivali's, like, the fact that Rivali's gone, there's no one left to bully me anymore. Everyone is just, like, either thinks I just look like Link, or am Link, which is very nice, of course. It'd help if I had good aim. Damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna leave you there. You can hang out. Ooh, some pine cones. Uh, there's supposed to be a lodge somewhere? I don't even know where the fire- the two bonfires were. Oh, okay. 
Um, hold on. There are some constructs over there I could kill. And that might be a good way to get up to the tower. Otherwise, let's see who this guy is, because I already forgot his name. Oh, hello. You're out here in the cold? What, are you, what is wrong with you? You have serious issues. I bet he has some sort of fetish for uh, Coulson. I mean, Bolson. Hudson. That's his name, Hudson. They're all the sons. What is this guy's name? Addison. No wonder he was born to have a fetish for Hudson. Hudson soft. Oh, is that the sun up there? What is that? That's probably fine. I'm sure it's not actually, but it'll work out. Try, just let go. Just let go. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. How's the present standing? That was brilliant. Now give me my 20 rupees. Give me my disgusting rice ball. And give me my stupid overnight pass or bomb flower that I don't really want either of. The bomb flower is kind of nice. Bitey, meaty rice balls. Bomb flower. Okay. With that. Dude, and he's not even on a road, so that's worrying a worrying prospect for trying to find every single one of these. Well, it's not. Well, he sort of is on a road, actually. I shouldn't say that, but I don't know what roads are, there are because I don't have the map here. Okay. Are you the person? Neck. His name's Neck. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? Well, it's just making it hard to see where you're going, so we made these bonfires as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlights set up around the fancy Skyview Tower. They do not. No, that is true. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat for sheer size and sheer brightness. Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Th thank you? I don't want to take responsibility for that. I also feel like there's some passive aggressivism mixed with the, um, impression- the fact that people are impressed. Oh, am I stealing your stuff? I'm really sorry. We found these strange things at the foot of Huber Mountain. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done everything I can test on them. I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. What they're All I do know is they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you get hit with one, huh? Well, I've got those things to get out of the... Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. Okay. So you don't you don't actually, like, need this stuff. Good. Otherwise, I'd kind of feel really bad about that. Lots of pine cones. That's very good. Damn, why do you have emo hair? Link, you're all right. I was worried. This is hearth. Okay. Oh, his map has circles. See, I wonder if you actually, like, go to these places specifically, if that'll really help. I was worried after I heard what you had you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're telling me that Princess Zelda? Sorry to tell you I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are full dealing with more of the immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scan for food or investigate the cause of this terrible mm -hmm. blizzard, and all that have been hampered by Skymon. And all that has been hampered by sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with anything else on top of this. Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin can help. <laughs> Where's Tulin? Oh, right. You weren't around for that. But little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts adults to shame. What do you mean? Even in vi vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all sorts of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Is he like a prodigy for R Rivali? Is he like his child prodigy? Oh, I'm starting to see it. You know how there was that really annoying tech girl that is like his apprentice and Tulin is now the Rito apprentice. There's going to be one for each of them. Except no one can replace Sidon. S Sexy Sidon is the best. Even Stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is cut above. That kid does preen ab about it more than he should, but well, it's worth asking him at least last i saw him he was with jessany and laisa whatever on top of, on a trip to find food i think they were on their way to the hebra south summit cave that's to the northeast from here the cave is past wow the cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road there should be a bonfire marking the spot okay 
That's good to know. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tula. Wait, who are you? Cute. I was drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we do a little creative cooking. With the right ingredients and a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. That's, that's, just because there's capsaicin in your mouth does not mean you are not cold and are not going to die. We do not have many of them here, but you're welcome to take what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other. Yeah, but, like, I'll take it because you just told me I could, but I feel guilty. Like, you people are, like, starving. I don't want to take your crap. Um, okay, that leads up there. I am going to go to the tower. Actually, it's sort of the same direction, but there's there were creatures over here that I want to beat the crap out of first. What? Oh, that's cool. I don't know if that's useful, but that's really cool. Oh, wait, so can I attach the, like, spikes to this? And then j it, it's basically just a way sharper arrow. Like, hold on. These things. Nope, nope, not that. This. Three. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of you guys. Okay, this is not good. Oh, there's a lot of you. Holy crap. Holy crap. There's a lot of you. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the constructs, and you people are gonna fight each other, because... Race war. Come here, constructs. Oh boy, do I have a show for you. Broccoli. Oh no, get up off the ground. Get up off the ground. Celery. Gotta be. Vegetables. Ooh. Fight the bacoblins. Fight each other. Fight each other. I told you to fight each other. Please do the thing. You're supposed to hate each other. This is supposed to be a race war. Okay, some of them are fighting. Oh. Okay, this is... I think this is working. I mean, like, not as well as I'd like it to, but... Okay. This is a good weapon. Also, my game is, feels like it's struggling. Oh no. No! Okay, I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I gotta pause it. Thank you so much for watching. Click annotation, top right to watch the next video. If you see this video, bless your face. Peace off. Don't worry. In the next episode, we'll get to the tower. We'll find, I already forgot his name, Tiba's son, Tholan, Th Thorin Oakenshield, and then we'll continue. Bless your face. Peace off. Boop. <laughs>